Tonight we do have those snow showers continuing a low of 27. Winds are picking up as well with gusts near 25 miles per hour. 33 for our high tomorrow. Chances of snow showers continuing, definitely continuing for the northern areas of Idaho and Spoke or er, and uh, Washington. Winds will be out of the northeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as that system moves through, we are going to see uh, quite a bit of heavy snow. Uh, you can see that system moving through low pressure system, bringing those stronger winds along with it. A winter storm warning in effect for several areas. We're looking at 8 to 13 inches possible for the eastern slopes of the Cascades, 5 to 8 inches along the northeast mountains, 7 to 10 inches for the northern Panhandle Mountains, 10 to 10 to 16 inches for the central Panhandle Mountains, 4 to 8 inches for the Blue Mountains of Washington. So we are going to see quite a bit of accumulation by the time this system is out of the region. Also a winter weather advisory in effect, including Spokane. That's until 4 a.m. on Sunday. Actually expires a little earlier for Spokane at 10 p.m. tonight. Two to five inches expected. And for the Okanagan Highlands, we're looking at four to six inches for the mountain areas and two to four for the valleys. Today's highs in the 30s, still a little bit above average. 34, 22 for our low. That's right on point. Usually at 22 for our low this time of year and 32 for our high. We're going to start dropping way off as we head over the next few days. Right now, still 34 in Spokane. Winds moving south-southwest at 15 miles per hour. Those are going to pick up a little bit as well. 34 in Coeur d'Alene. Winds moving south-southeast at 10 miles per hour. And as that low pressure system moves through, as I said, we're going to see some strong winds as well. So we are going to see some blowing snow, gusts near 35 miles per hour at times. And after that system moves out of the region, late Sunday, we're going to be followed by a cold trough that's going to drop down from the Gulf of Alaska. That's going to bring us frigid temperatures as we head through the week. We're looking for highs in the teens and lows in the single digits. So we're going to see snow and then we're going to see frigid temperatures right after. We're going to see a wintry week ahead. And tonight we're going to see those lows in the 20s. Snow overnight, as I said, several inches of accumulation for the mountain areas and the valley areas, definitely along the passes as well. Tomorrow, chance of snow for OMAC, mostly cloudy in Moses Lake. Spokane, we're going to see those chances of snow as well. Definitely some snow in Coeur d'Alene, looking at up to an inch of accumulation. Again, breezy conditions as well. Snow showers and breezy conditions for the Northeast Mountains and the Northern Panhandle of Idaho. Highs in the low 30s and snow to the north near Western Montana. Looks like it will be a rain snow mix for Pullman, Moscow and Lewiston tomorrow. We're going to see showers along Seattle and Portland, 39 in Yakima, mostly cloudy there, 34 in Boise and 30 in Missoula. 33 for our high here in Spokane tomorrow. That snow's going to continue. We're going to see tricky travel along those passes, so just be aware of that. I would wait until Sunday night, possibly Monday morning, for that system to completely get out of the region. Windy conditions on Monday as that low-pressure system drops in, and then we're going to see cold and sunny conditions throughout next week. Tuesday and Wednesday, really, really cold. Yikes. Just just in time for everyone to get dressed up and stay out late for New Year's Eve and uh, single digits. <laughs> that kind of wants me to stay I in. I know. Dress sure. up warm for yeah. New Year's Eve. Bundle up all your coats and gloves and hats and scarves. All right. Yeah. Will do. Thanks, Alyssa. Yeah.